Good morning, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you and well done for entering the composition competition. Uh, I know Mr. Assan and Mr. Hall are really proud of what you've produced uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, some incredible pieces of, of music, uh, very moving, uh, very high quality. And I know they found it really hard to shortlist uh, the number of you down to six. Can I also thank you personally for getting involved? It's, it's, it's been great to see your energy, your enthusiasm, your ingenuity uh, and your quality. Uh, throughout these, these strange times. So thanks so much for getting involved and I can't wait to hear the winning composition. Well done to every single one of you. Caterham School's Music Department is delighted to welcome Bob Chilcott to adjudicate this year's composition competition. As a composer, conductor and singer, Bob Chilcott has enjoyed a lifelong association with choral music, first as a chorister and choral scholar in the choir of King's College, Cambridge, and for 12 years as a member of the King's Singers. He became a full-time composer in 1997 and has produced a large catalogue of music for all types of choirs, which is published by Oxford University Press. His most often performed pieces include Can You Hear Me, A Little Jazz Mass, Requiem and The St John's Passion. Bob has conducted choirs in more than 30 countries worldwide and has worked with many thousands of amateur singers across the UK in a continuing series of singing days. For seven years he was conductor of the Chorus of the Royal College of Music in London and since 2002 he has been principal guest conductor of the BBC Singers. In 2017 Bob was awarded an honorary fellowship by the Royal School of Church Music and in 2019 he took up the role of Principal Conductor for the Birmingham University Singers. His music has been widely recorded by leading British choirs and groups, which include the King's Singers, King's College Cambridge, Wales Cathedral Choir, Westminster Abbey, the Sixteen Tenebrae, the BBC Singers, the Bark Choir and Commotio and Aura. In 2016, he enjoyed a collaboration with the celebrated singer Katie Melua on the album In Winter. In 2017, two new discs were released by Komotio and Corrales, All Good Things on Naxos and In Winter's Arms on Signum, his first recording collaboration with an American choir. Newer recording projects are with the BBC Singers, Houston Chamber Choir, and the Wattswalf Philharmonic Choir. Before Bob starts with his adjudication, I would like to congratulate and thank every single entrant into this competition. Aidan, Alec, Alex, Alyssa, Amara, Anna, Annabella, Chelsea, Drew, Lisa, Millie, Olivia, Rafe, Sophie, Tanya and Zachary. This led to the absolutely painstaking task that the music department had to narrow these fantastic compositions down to a short list of just six entrants. After much deliberation, debate, the shortlisted six were as follows. Alec, Alyssa, Amara, Anna, Chelsea and Zachary. It is now my absolute pleasure and honour to introduce Mr. Bob Chilcott, who will adjudicate this competition. Hi, the first adjudication here is for Alec, and this is uh, Sun on a Rainy Day. Um, the first thing, I really like the title. Sometimes when you have a title, you, you kind of, uh, that draws you into a into an idea immediately and I liked that. I liked the opening. It was very simple, it was bright, but it was like the uh, opening of a show. And even though the uh, gestures you used, the musical gestures you used throughout were quite simple, it had a lot of character. And uh, I thought it was quite positive in tone and I liked that and uh, you, uh, you did really well. So thank you very much, I enjoyed it. Thank you. The next piece here is Alyssa's Together We'll Get By. Well, this was such a well-constructed song. It was very fluent 
and the economical core construction uh, brought real shape and cohesion to the song. I, I loved the way you selected these chords. They weren't simple chords, but you did them in a very beautiful way, and the the shape of the uh, of of the chords were absolutely beautiful. And uh, also the shape of the chorus was very intuitive. I loved the, also the way that the phrase lengths in the melody just uh, fell in a slightly different way that gave a great sense of where it took us to the final line, which is actually the hook of the song, um, Together We'll Get By. And I thought the lyrics were terrific. That they, they were so reassuring, they were very honest, and um, they brought together a great atmosphere with the music. It was a real marriage of lyrics and music. I thought this was great work. Thank you. The next song here is Amara's Isolation and Friendship. And this was built on a very simple idea um, with a melody over two chords. But as the piece went on, you drew us into this piece. Um, it built well with the way that you paced the uh, the melody line in the right hand. Um, and the journey of the piece, uh, really, we felt like we were being taken somewhere. I slightly missed... Um, a point of which we were taken to. I think in a in a piece of music you need a shape whereby we build an inevitable shape that when we get to that point we feel like we've been taken there by the music. Um, I didn't quite feel that but um, on the other hand you uh, you ended the piece very well. Actually you had a slightly missed uh, point uh, in the piece, but um, you ended it very well, I thought, and uh, um, you made something effective. Uh, ultimately, you want to be taken on a journey in a piece, and I think you did that, so well done. The next piece here is by Anna, the song Here For You. Um, thank you for your introduction and uh, video, that was very nice. Um, you had a very simple chord sequence in the verse and I, th I thought it was very effective actually. Um, and you had some lovely shapes in the vocal line. Um, I thought the chorus might have been a little bit long. Um, maybe you could have made it a little more concise. I slightly lost the, s the shape of the song when it got to the chorus because I think the chorus... Um, even though it was in a different sequence of chords, it was um, almost as long as the verse. So I, I got a little bit lost occasionally um, because there were a lot of lyrics and um, I, I just think you slightly overplayed your hand occasionally, but uh, you did a great job here. I lost my thread at times. That's really what I'm trying to say. But... Um, it was a nice song and I think it was beautifully ended. It wound down in a very good way. You brought us to the end feeling uh, feeling like we'd been somewhere, which is what you want in a song. So thank you very much. The next piece is by Chelsea and it's Midsummer Snow. Again, a nice title. And uh, this piece had a very strong and compelling sound world, but it was, of course, um, picturing a very sad story, for which I'm very sorry. Um, even though it had a sectional, quite a sectional episodic style in construction, um, it held together quite well, I thought. Um, I liked the opening. It was very sudden, but we were drawn into your sound world right away, and I liked that. I liked this flute melody. I thought you constructed that brought it in at in a very good point in the piece um it made it it made us listen basically and um i like the way very much you brought it back at the end of the piece um the one thing i would say i think there might have been too many ideas in the piece just for um the length of the piece sometimes we need to think of using the material less material and 
um, be more economical and use that material um, in the best way and as much as you can and extend it and do all sorts of different things with less material. Um, that gives more clarity to the idea of the piece. Um, it's the same with orchestration, actually. Orchestration, in a funny way, it's a bit like colouring in. It's a bit uh, uh, like painting a picture. You have to be very clear about your colour palette, about what it is, uh, what colours you're trying to portray. So um, just because you have a lot of instruments, you don't have to use them all the time. You can be more sparing, more economical, and think very carefully about the way that you use those colours within the piece. But this is this was a really good bit of work. Um, a lot of detail in it. You'd thought a lot about it. I, I was really impressed. So thank you very much indeed. The last one here is Zachary's piece. I promise it'll be okay. Um, I found this very compelling, this piece. I liked it because I think it was brave to, to do an a cappella piece. Um, and you did it in a very good way because you found simple um, but very effective vocal riffs. I like those riffs and uh, the way you put them together it was clever. Um, the only thing I would say, be careful when you do that, that you don't mask uh, the lead line. I lost quite a lot of the lyrics. I lost quite a lot of your melody line. Um, this was just in the way you recorded it. But um, I like the feel of the song and I liked the way you, that uh, you brought us into that. Um, I also like the way you ended it. You wound it down very well. You came to a close quite naturally. You slowed the riffs. You brought us to a point where we felt again that we'd been somewhere and uh, it was effective. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. So I have to give uh, three places here and um, well done before before I do that I'd just like to say well done to everyone because you you made a very personal set of pieces and each one of you uh, brought something really special to this whole idea of isolation and uh, thank you for that I was affected by it really um, in third place I put Zachary with I promise it'll be okay and in second place, I put Chelsea with Midsummer Show. And in first place, Alyssa, together we'll get by. Thank you very much indeed. And let's hope soon we'll be all back performing music live. Good luck to you all. Thanks. I'd like to thank Bob on behalf of Caterham School and all of the pupils who were involved in this competition. I'm sure they'll all agree the feedback was really really helpful really constructive and it's so nice to hear such wonderful kind words from such an accomplished musician as yourself. The prizes are as follows first prize for Alyssa will be a £25 gift voucher for Yamaha Music London second prize for Chelsea will be a £15 gift voucher for Yamaha Music London and Alec, Amara, Anna and Zachary will all receive a Chopin list notepad, which I think is quite possibly the best prize ever. Once again, I'd like to thank and congratulate every single pupil that entered this competition. The standard was so high and I feel really humbled and really proud of what you've all achieved. I'm now delighted to present to you the winning song the winning composition by Alyssa together we'll get by the day I can hold you. Time is here. 